As a personal trainer to many athletes, Tomonari Oba has seen a vast array of muscles over the years. His observations on Hakuho's muscle condition then, detailed in his latest book, are therefore well worth hearing. Standing out for me are his hamstrings, which are as huge as they are supple, Oba begins. They are the chief asset for any knee bends required during bouts. And what also strikes me, he continues, is the ideal balance in definition between front and rear thigh. For most people, including many athletes, the front is more developed. But Hakuho is just as defined from the rear. The muscle quality is outstanding, as is the elasticity and springiness. This allows him to instantly react in any bout situation and mobilize the necessary muscles at lightning speed. He's therefore sharp going forward, adept at withstanding parries and slaps at the rope, and very resilient when pushed. And he's especially good at moving backwards with his knees at just the right angle, his hamstrings being more than robust enough to bear the demands upon them. Regarding the upper body, Oba praises Hakuho's psoas major muscle, flanking the lumbar spine, and most affectionately, the trapezius spanning the rear of the neck and shoulders. The trapezius is so important when reeling in your foe by the belt, Orba explains, and I have nicknamed Hakuho's trapezius the devil, because when it's fully pumped and engaged, it resembles a head with horns. This devil never shows himself in the opening bouts though. Only when the tournament's well underway does he appear, serving as proof that the Yokozuna has reached peak condition. That's why Hakuho loves it when I say, the devil showed his face today. He enjoys the terminology too. Orba writes at length about Hakuho's love of coining unique phrases personal to his own body, to most accurately express the changes he is feeling. My muscles are really juicy, is a phrase he often uses. As his mother is a medical doctor, he has a lot of technical knowledge, and is thus more sensitive to bodily changes than most. And to keep mind and body in concord, he literally talks to his body, thanking it for responding to all his hard demands, and saying, please do your best again for the Yokozuna today. Orba himself must ensure those muscles are better placed to do that with his massage and acupuncture techniques. Hakuho's muscles have come to warm to my hands, Orba feels, because during tournaments I give him four massages a day. The first pre-training to rouse the body from its resting state. A second before his midday nap, focusing on the back. A third during his hairstyling session, focusing on the feet. And post-bout, as you can likely guess, a full body massage lasting 90 minutes. Sometimes we might even go for a fifth session. Of course, acupuncture is involved, and Orba maintains that Hakuho yells louder than anyone when the needles pierce his skin. The cumulative effect on his overall condition is mostly judged in the traditional way, through his muscles' response to foot stamping, leg sliding, and pole slapping, which Hakuho describes as the foot stamping equivalent for the hands. He reportedly feels his strength from the way he hits the pole and the sound of the impact. And, just like his father in active wrestling days, Hakuho believes subtle changes in condition can be detected from the taste of his sweat. <laughs>